eight to 12 legs. And you wonder why there's an unlimited amount of chicken wings, you know? On the BW3s or whatever the goddamn chicken spot, church is chicken. And they got laboratories that's growing that shit. Church is chicken. Eating spider legs. So he's mixed spiders genes with chickens. He mixed the seeds, man. He mixed them. That's a devil, man. That's only a devil that'll go through that. That a that a that a that that'll come up with that ideal. So like I was trying to tell the brother, this brother, these devil, these devils are studying this Bible. And they're reacting from it. You know, doing that which is uh which is evil. So you're going through like the laws, for an example. You go through the dietary law. And he said not to eat these things. These things are lawful to eat, these things are unlawful to eat. You see these motherfucking niggas, man, how they look at you like, like I got spider legs. And this is how they look at the Yahweh in the house how when they hear his word, man. This is how the wicked look when they hear the Lord's word. It's the same thing when these people, when I'm explaining to you about these goddamn spider legs, man, you think in your mind, oh, that's a bummer. With niggas like, oh shit, well, that's smart. That's a nigga for you, man. That's a fool for you. Oh, well, that sounds smart. That's a wise. And it helps starvation and, 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 you know? People starving around the world, he's creating means for the devil, for people to eat. Niggas think, man. That's how a fool thinks. The scripture says they but the simple believe every word, but they don't come out and tell you anything. But well, we come out here and tell you this truth, and this again, this is how they look at it. Like we're like I'm looking at the spider man. Abomination. Two thirds here this they abomination to them, man. That ain't all. The lawful things are the awful lawful things. Here. Here, I'll just look it up. Just look it up. Spake unto Moses and to answer Aaron, saying unto them, Leviticus 11 and 1, verse 2, Speak unto the children saying, These are the big beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Whatsoever call for the river goes through all these things. And as well it goes through. And as well it goes through the void, the unclean. 
It says to avoid the unclean. And these are they which ye shall have in the midst of slaughter. And these are they which ye shall have in abomination among the fowls that shall not be eaten. They are an abomination. And it goes to an example of those things as well. Things that are lawful to eat, things are, that are unlawful to eat. And this, uh, and this again, this, um, and this vessel of dishonor, which is the Edomites, so-called white man, so you can understand who they are. He sort of, he's reading this, he said, okay, I'm gonna get these things. Remember the time of Noah, man, the wickedness was spread upon the earth. He unfathomed what was going on here. The wisdom and knowledge was far superior to than that. Imagine what was going on then, man. Gee. It had to have been great in order for the Lord to flood the whole planet, man, and destroy everything. Just imagine that, that it pushed the Lord to the point to flood the whole earth, man. Here we all are, here we are, here we, here we go again. Here we go again, whole 360. They did a whole complete turnaround. Here we go again. Or should I say 180? <laughs> right, right back to wickedness. So this time he's gonna burn this motherfucker up, man. And guess what? Like I read in Revelation the sixth chapter, the red dragon was given the power, was given the power of a great sword. Here we go again. He's about to burn this motherfucker up. He's about to burn himself out of his position of power. He's about to burn himself out of position of power. The water you how about shimmy how shot. Rock it you how about shimmy how a shot. Rock it you how about shim you how shot. He's about to burn this motherfucker up, man. And the wicked right along with it. You know? And the wicked, and the wicked pieces of shit that love this madness, man. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I love reading this scripture. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, I'm about to give you the form of the, this devil and the wickedness that he's coming with, which is which is a major prophecy, which is a major, which is uh, actually a, a major uh, role that has to take place in order for the kingdom of heaven to come, uh, be ushered in. Remember that device, device. I see it, not S E. Nice. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the strong things, and all that do wickedly shall be stolen. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root or branch. And here over there, and you got over there praying. I should vaporize him and kick him in the ass. Russia's losing one soldier to their ten. If not worse numbers. If not far worse numbers, man. Ukraine had, Ukraine had a small victory. And here they are, like the Russians is garbage and all equipment and they can't fight. And they're getting their ass kicked. NATO and America is already over there fighting the Russians, man. This is going to escalate to this point. And they got these stupid motherfuckers supporting it, programming them to think that all Russians ain't shit. That Russia is easily being destroyed. Well, Russia is only using a little less than 10% of their army, man, their military. Ain't that something? Russia is only using 10% of their military, man to fight against that uh, that massive, uh, well-organized, because that's how it started according to the experts. Ukraine, that military, as described as an extra, is an amazing, badass military. Man. And 
here in Russia is overwhelming them with less numbers. It's overwhelming them, bombarding them with um, um, with artillery, bombarding them with it, with the artillery shells. Man, them motherfuckers is coming. Just listen to the sounds of those videos, man. Them shells coming in, they sound like missiles. Listen to the video, the sounds of them shells. They're just shells, man. Coming in, scattered, the shattering, destroying, wreck, wreck, rocking it, uh, uh, causing havoc amongst, amongst the Ukraine military, man. They've been bombarded. So these devils over here ain't gonna give you the truth. They're devils, man. They're just liars, man. It's lying pieces of shit. What's up, heathens? Damn. They might not be a heathen because you don't never ever see um, Elamite's way. And the Elamite husband, bro, wait, man. He actually wait. I'm like, what the? Now I'm tripping. <laughs> That's why you can't be quick to judge people, man. You gotta try people's spirit, man. That's the instruction of the gospel. You gotta try people's spirit instead of judgment by, the, by, by their looks and shit, man. Like the albums on the outside scattered Israel amongst these nations, man. You know, he's scattered amongst these nations. So his brothers and sisters amongst those heathen nations, man. And I've had, I've been blessed enough to experience that amongst the other nations, Israelites amongst the other nations. You know? I've been blessed with that, man. Even in this truth, I've been blessed to meet um, uh, um, men and women and actually have conversations with them that was actually cool. And which and, and and I'm just and, and it's just um, verifying it in my spirit and in my soul that these scriptures is true, man. Israelites amongst the heathen nation. I always share it with y'all the conversation, the, the the two giants who you would have thought were the ancient Egyptians. They were from the Sudan. Giants, literally giants, man. And they were found out the motherfuckers as cool as hell, man. Kicking, talking to them, cool as hell, man. Acting just like they were from the fucking moon. Man. Anyway, so this is what's coming. Let me read two before I move and get to get another scripture. Unto you that fear, my name shall the Son of righteousness and rise with healing and his wings, and ye shall go forth and grow up as calves of a star, and ye shall tread down the wicked. Listen, and ye shall tread down the wicked. They shall be ashes under the soles of the feet of the gate, that I shall do this, says the Lord of hosts. So ain't none of us got the power to do this. Ain't none of us got the power to execute judgments on these fucking heathens. You know, this is their thing. This is their thing. This is Moses, this is this is Jehovah Shem Yahushua's thing, man. He has the power. You know, but he's just going to raise us up to, you know, to execute it. The brother, young brother, which I was going to get the scripture, he, you know, he would have heard these things. You know, Behold, I will send you a life of prophet for the coming of the great day, great and dreadful day of the Lord. That's beautiful. You know, when you hear the apostles, they they were blessed enough to go live through the uh, uh, prophet of life coming. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the home of the children. Thus I come and smite the earth with the curse. This is actually one of my favorite ones. Okay. Son of man, the house of Israel is to me become dross. All they are brass and tin and iron and lead in the midst of the furnace. They are even the dross of silver. Therefore, thus said the Lord God. Because ye are all become droves, behold, therefore when I gather you in the midst of Jerusalem, in the midst of the people, as they gather silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace, lesser leads that are really of no value, of little, very, very little value, you know, except for silver, you know. So it says, as they gather 
silver and brass and iron and lead and tin into the midst of the furnace to blow the fire upon it to melt it so will I gather you in my anger and in my fury so here you got the elect being tried in the fire being made pure then you have the wicked evil unrighteous unlawful disobedient children of Israel two thirds the ones that don't park that don't follow instructions the sinful nation we say Isaiah what does he say and Isaiah I'm not sure if it's one ah, he says our ah, sinful nation losing our mind and being all stressed out trying to teach these people this truth, man. Because you know what? Your end is to be melted. That's on you if you don't want to listen to this truth. You know what? That's that's a bad thing. That's a negative thing if you don't want to listen and learn this truth. But you want to come make yourself an enemy to this truth. These people are the fucking enemies, man. You know? Those that ain't out here pushing this word. Those that ain't out here trying to learn and they trying to come back to their heritage, man. Those are the, 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 the wicked. The ones that are coming up against this truth. Matthew's the 13th chapter. Have, reading the book, reading the book, and, and, and ain't having no understanding. Even though you point it all out to them, explain it to them, you go into word search and word etymology and understanding different languages. You show all these things to them that they can die and get them. That's just your interpretation. <laughs> Scripture says there is no uh, there is no private interpretation to this word, man. You know, it's either the truth or the not or the truth or a lie, man. You know? It ain't what the pure, it ain't what according to your motherfucking heart either. It's good. You hear all kind of madness screw out these people's mouths, man. It's according to how you feel. It's, it's the love of Jesus. I mean, some things you don't even know what the hell they're talking about when they say it, man. But it ain't none of it according to truth and according to knowledge. Ain't none of it, man. Again, Matthew's the 13th chapter, man. So who is about to burn these people up, man? Who praying for that day? So much shit happening that these down that's leading to this prophecy. We know it's real, man. I know we don't we don't make we wanna make it to 2023. Because it's too much gonna happen. We're going, so we got some labor, we got some work to be doing, man. That's just beautiful. We're gonna make it. We can see the end of the tunnel, pretty much. We can see the light. You know? We see the light. We see the light. We're, we're representative of it. We're that beacon. <laughs> We can put out the open for the world to see it. So they can't deny this. They can't say, oh, I didn't know, I didn't know. No, okay. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> can't hide. You can't hide from this truth. <laughs> That's what's beautiful. You can't hide from this truth. You've already seen it. It's already in your mind now, you know. That's beautiful. The young lady walking by here trying to hide her face. You can't hide from this truth now. You've already seen it. You know? Because this truth is for Israelites, male and female. Again, this truth is for Israelites, male and female. Because we all go for a bit of strength. And, and, and quite obviously, a large portion of you are still continually going astray. <laughs> still going astray. Care less, man. <laughs>